Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over safe dosage calculation problems for the pediatric patient. And as always, after this lecture you can go to my website RegisterNurseRN.com and take the free quiz that will test you on this material and also check out the other videos that are part of this series that will teach you dosage and calculations. So let's get started. Let's see what this problem says. Doctor orders Benadryl for a child that weighs 98 pounds. The safe dose for Benadryl is 5 milligrams per kilogram per day. What is the safe dose per day for this child? Anytime you're solving these safe dosage calculations, there are some things you need to know. First, you need to know the child's weight. Child weighs 98 pounds. Then you want to know what is the safe dose range that this particular problem has given us. They have told us that for Benadryl, a child can have, depending on how many kilograms they weigh, five milligrams for every kilogram per day. So we're going to have to convert our 98 pounds to kilograms and see, based on five milligrams, how much this child can have. And you have to see what exactly our question is asking because this is where it really trips people up. Some problems want to know how much can they have per dose, but this particular problem wants to know how many they how much they can have per day. So let's solve. So what we're trying to solve for is milligrams per day for this child. So I like to write this out and to remind myself where I'm going with dimensional analysis because I use dimensional analysis to solve these problems. So first, let's convert our 98 pounds to kilograms. So 98 pounds over that. And we know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. And pounds cancels out and we're in kilograms. So we're ready to plug what our safe dose range is. And one kilogram equals five milligrams of Benadryl per day. Kilograms cancels out. So we are exactly where we need to go. Milligrams per day. That's what this problem wants to know. So we're going to multiply everything at the top, multiply everything at the bottom, and then divide and we have our answer. So 98 times 1 times 5 is 490. And of course, 1 times 2.2 times 1 is 2.2. .2. And 490 divided by 2.2 .2 is 222. 7272 7, repeating and we'll round up to 22 point well we'll just round regular 22 222.7 milligrams per day and that is our answer this problem says a child weighs 52 pounds. The child has a fever and the doctor has ordered Tylenol. The safe dose range is 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram every six hours. What is the maximum safe dose for this child per day? So let's look at our most important information. Child's weight, 52 pounds. The safe dose of Tylenol is 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram every six hours. And our problem wants to know the maximum dose per day. So we've got some extra steps we've got to take because our safe dose range is just giving us an individual dose and we've got to figure out how much this child can have throughout a whole day. So let's set up a problem using dimensional analysis. So we want to get two milligrams per day. So I like to write where I'm going. That's my goal. And I'm just going to underline 15 because it wants to know our maximum dose. 10, we really don't care about for this problem, just the max that they can have. So that's what we're going to be working with is 15. And then every six hours is very important because we want to figure out how much they can have per day. So first, let's convert their weight. Okay, they weigh 52 pounds. We know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Pounds cancels out, so we're in kilograms. Now let's plug in our safe dose range. See how much for every kilogram this child weighs, how much maximum dose of Tylenol can they have? So one kilogram equals 15 milligrams 
every six hours, so per dose. So we're done with this part because we got to get to milligrams per day. So let's go ahead and solve and then we'll convert whatever we get for individual dose and figure out how much we can get per day. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top. So 52 times one times 15 is 720. And one times 2.2 times one is 2.2. And 720 divided by 2.2 is 354.54.54, repeating, and we'll round to 354.5 milligrams every six hours or every per dose. Now, let's figure out how much they can have per day. Again, I like to use dimensional analysis to figure this out. So what I like to do is I like to say, okay, there's 24 hours in one day. And for this particular dose, every six hours, they can have 354.5 milligrams. So every six hours, they can have 354.5 milli milligrams. And we're where we need to be. We're left with milligrams per day, hours cancels out. So we're going to multiply 24 times 354.5, and that equals 8,508. And one times six equals six. And 8,508 8, 8, divided by six equals 1,418 milligrams per day. So that is our answer. This problem says doctor orders 200 milligrams of ibuprofen every eight hours. The child weighs 49 pounds. The safe dosage range for this medication is five to 10 milligrams per kilogram per dose. What is the safe dose range for this particular child? And is this a safe dose ordered by the doctor? So right off the bat, looking at this question, we know we got a lot of problem solving to do. We've got to, first of all, see what the minimum and maximum dose is that this patient can have based on their weight of 49 pounds. And we have to see if based on that, what we get if 200 milligrams falls in between that. So let's get started solving this. First, let's solve the minimum dose that they need. So we're going to convert weight, so 49 pounds. We know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. And first we're gonna solve for a minimum dose and we're gonna look the smallest number and it's five milligrams per kilogram per dose. So one kilogram is gonna equal five milligrams per dose. Okay, we're where we need to be, milligrams per dose. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom and divide. So 49 times one times five is 245. And then of course, one times 2.2 times one is 2.2. And 245 divided by 2.2 is 111.36 repeating, and that rounds to 111.4 milligrams per dose. So we got our minimum. So right now the patient, what the doctor ordered, they're falling into it, but let's see what our maximum is. So again, we're gonna work a problem doing the maximum. So we're gonna convert our pounds and 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram, pounds cancels out. And one kilogram equals 10 milligrams per dose and pounds, pound, kilograms cancels out. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top and divide. So 49 times one times 10 equals 490. And one times 2.2 times one equals 2.2. And 490 divided by 2.2 equals 222.72 repeating. And we'll round and we'll get 222.7 milligrams per dose. So our range is 111.4 milligrams per dose to 
I mean 222.7 milligrams per dose. And the doctor ordered 200 milligrams, so yes, this is a safe dose for this child. This problem says, doctor orders digoxin 0.92 milligrams daily for a child that weighs 16 pounds. The safe dosage for this medication is 8 to 12 micrograms per kilogram per day. Is this a safe dose order? Okay, this is like the previous problem we worked, but a little bit differently. First of all, it's not asking us to solve the dosage range, but we have to in order to see if what the doctor ordered is safe based on what the safe dosage range is. Also, if you look at this problem, what the doctor ordered is in milligrams. The safe dosage range is in micrograms. So I wanted to include this problem because we're gonna have to take some extra steps. I wanted you to see how to work it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our minimum dose first, which we're gonna be looking at the eight, and then we're gonna find our maximum dose, and we're gonna be looking at the 12, and then see what that falls in between, and if it falls in between what the doctor ordered, and if it does, it's a safe dose. If it doesn't, it did not. It's not a safe dose. So let's convert and find our minimum dose first. So I'm gonna look at our weight. So the patient weighs 16 pounds, and we know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Pounds cancels out. And we're looking at our dosage ordered, and there's one kilogram in eight micrograms per day. Now, we gotta get to milligrams per day. So we're gonna convert, because that's what the doctor ordered. So we're gonna say a thousand, because there's a thousand micrograms in one milligram. And that cancel, cancels our micrograms out, and we're left with milligrams per day, which is where we're supposed to get, because that's what the doctor's ordered, 0.92 milligrams per day. So. Let's see. We're gonna multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom and divide. 16 times one times eight times one is 128. And one times 2.2 times one times 1,000 equals 2,200. And 128 divided by 2,200 equals 0 0.0. 5, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, repeating. And we're gonna round up, we're gonna round to our hundredths place. So it'll be 0 0.06 milligrams per day. So we know our minimum dose. Okay, now let's find our maximum dose, which we're gonna be using the 12 for this one. So again, we're just gonna follow the same steps up there. So 16 pounds. We know that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. Pounds cancels out. Maximum dose, one kilogram equals 12 micrograms per day. Kilograms cancels out. We've got to convert to milligrams. We know that there are a thousand micrograms in one milligram. So we're exactly where we needed to be. We're in milligrams per day. Multiply everything at the top and at the bottom and divide. So 16 times one times 12 times one equals 192. And one times 2.2 times one times 1,000 equals 2,200. And 192 divided by 2,200 equals 0 0.087275. Two, repeating, and we're gonna round to our hundredths and it's 0 0.09 milligrams per day. Now, does that fall in between the range of what the doctor ordered? Because the doctor ordered 0 0.92 milligrams, and our range for this child is 0 0.06 to 0 0.09. So no, this is not a safe dose for this patient. Okay, so that is how you work safe dosage calculation problems. Now go to my website, registernursrn.com and take that free quiz. And thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.